Oh, get him, Grizz. Oh, come on, Grizz. Alright, spawn in. Get him again. Get him again, Grizz. Oh, Grizz goes down. Oh, I guess I better hop in now and save the day. What is going on, everyone? It's near again. Hey, for you, a little domination gameplay this time in the map village using the PP90 with a silencer. Special guest. Special guest this video is Zergriz. Now, I'm not doing a dual comm with them or anything like that, but Zergriz is in this lobby, guys. Zergriz and a couple of the people he run with. I honestly don't know their names and I've really heard of them, but I know they're his friends because uh, I've ran into Zergriz many times, many a time here in Mall for 3. Um, how many times now? Like, maybe seven times. Honestly, honestly, like seven times I've ran into Zergriz's lobby. And it's crazy. I mean, I'm a ground war player, uh, typically, most of the time. On the average day, I will play ground war. That's my favorite game mode. The reason it's my favorite is my favorite game mode is just because there's nine people. You know, nine people on each team. There's a lot more action, a lot more killing, a lot more stuff going on, and it's enjoyable for me. Uh, see, while, while, while 6v6, while your standard 6v6 game modes, they're fun to me, a lot of time it's like a big game of hide and seek with guns. Like, uh, run around, especially on a bigger map like here, like Village. When you're running around for like a quite a bit of time, and you're just like, you can't find anybody. So I play Ground War a lot, and that's what Zergris plays as well, and it's just... I don't know, man. I, I run into him a lot. It's like the seventh time. I joined this random ground war lobby late, and if you guys noticed, uh, you see the score. The game's over half over at this point. And uh, this is a Moab fail with Grizz. I do join. I joined on Grizz's team, which I faced him just about every time. I've ran into him. We were on the other team. And uh, we beat him a couple times. He beat us a couple times. And uh, there's going to be a link in the description to uh, Team SB versus Zer Grizz and Friends, where we actually beat Grizz and them. If you guys don't know, Gri like, people picture Grizz as... Uh, you know, this big sniper guy, like, he snipes everybody, and that's all he really cares about. Zerg Grizz actually cares a ton about Call of Duty. He plays a lot. He plays <sighs> more than the average, you know, healthy human being should play. Um, last time I was in his lobby, I checked, he had about 26 days played, and he was ranked 98th in the world for total kills, and he has, like, a 13 or 14-something win-loss ratio. I'm not sure. You might have to check Call of Duty on that, but... Uh, he does play for the win, they do play for the win, so it's actually, a real, uh, I like getting the lobbies against Grizz and his friends, just be, just solely because, it's you know, the enemy team's actually going to be trying. You know, they actually try to win the match, they actually run around, they do, they try and do well, and uh, that makes it pretty competitive matches. And I uh, do, you know, all you, all you gotta do is check out the link in the description, Team SB, which is myself and uh, a bunch of my, bunch of my friends, my teammates, versus Zergriz and his friends, his teammates, and uh, it was a pretty good, dom it was a domination match on underground, go, go ahead and check that in the description after you're done with this video. But for right now, we're watching a Moab fail. Now I joined in late, you know, you saw me at the very beginning of the match, I uh, ran up, I got one kill, and then I died. And uh, then I, I don't die for the rest of this gameplay, and I get pretty close to a mob, I don't end up getting it, because uh, I joined in too late, the time ran out, and I couldn't find them. But it's a pretty mobile game, I mean, just running around PP90, with P which, by the way, PP90 is a great gun, it's a great all-around weapon, I mean, uh, in Call of Duty, Call of Duty is always, 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 except for maybe World of War. World of War was probably the one exception to this rule. Call of Duty is usually dominated by assault rifles. It really is, guys. I mean, a lot of people use submachine guns, but <laughs> assault rifles are good on any map. And that's if you play the gun correctly, right? You know, assault rifles, you can kind of stick back a little bit, but you also, you know, assault rifles are not, uh, they're not easy. They're not hard to use close range as well, whereas submachine guns are hard to use long range and, and they're easy to use close range. So uh, assault rifles generally win in most situations unless... You know, that submachine gun's got high fire rate as the PP-90 does, which is what makes the PP-90 such a dominant submachine gun here in Mopper 3. Would I go ahead and make the statement, make the assumption that this is the best submachine gun in the game? No. No. I, I do believe that the PP-90, the P-90, the MP-7, the UMP, uh, are all pretty balanced with each other. I think that, I think that there's a great balance of submachine guns here in Mopper 3. Whereas, you know, the MP5 is not bad. It probably could be count, you know, counted up there, but it takes a lot more skilled player to use the MP5 than, uh, you know, any of the other submachine guns. And the, P and, the, and the PM9, which is not that bad of a gun, but it is clearly so far and beyond the worst, you know, submachine gun in the game. And you want to like about playing with Zerg Grizz's team is they drop EMPs for days. And I hate playing against them because literally Grizz and all his friends, they all use support streaks, be it Recon, Drone, Advanced UAV, Sam Turrets, uh... EMP, they have EMP, every single person on his squad always has EMP on. And then they have like the timing down with it, like, okay, I call it my EMP, like, uh, 45 seconds, call in another one, and, you know, basically making it so the enemy team doesn't have their radar unless they're using Assassin, which I am this game. And, um, as well as, you know, kill streaks, basically keeping them out of the air. So that's one good strategy to use, is, uh, always use EMP, which is what they use, and I, personally, I think support streaks are a joke. I think, I, I mean, I've ran into so many lobbies, so many lobbies, you guys, where, like, somebody who's, like, you know, 15 and, like, hell, I don't know, 15 and 30-something, you know, gets an EMP, 
or gets a stealth bomber rather, and it's just like it's like wow, does he really deserve a kill streak like that because of how bad he's doing? But you know, I guess support kill streaks are a topic for another video. But look at all the EMPs going off. Good God, the game's coming to an end right now. 197, 199. I'm gonna pick up this kill right here. I'm like, where's the kill? I need a kill. I need a kill because I knew I was one or two off the Moab. I get hurt by that stealth bomber right there, but it doesn't matter. The game's gonna end up ending. 200 to 150, we end up whooping them, I guess. Uh, then again, I joined late, so I didn't really have any hand, any hand in um, actually, you know, getting us that victory. We're going to see a real quick, quick scope, a real sweet, quick scope, guys. And <laughs> he's going to pick that up. I'm going to get the survivalist challenge for surviving five consecutive minutes. And we're going to see my final score, 23 and 1. Mind you, I got one kill before I died. So I was 1 and 1, and I went on a 22 kill streak. I was 2 off the Moab. Probably could have gotten it. Maybe not, with that self-bomber coming down, but... um. End up uh, failing the Moab here with Zerger is in the lobby. He's right there above me. He went 23 and 35 and all his friends up there. The XES guys all up there ahead. So uh, that would have been good. Would have been good. Would have been good. How interesting would the video have been if I actually got the Moab with Zerger is in the lobby? But I figured I'd share with you guys this fail and let you guys, you know, just kind of get your opinions towards um, what, what, what do you guys think about, uh, you know, sniping versus team play? Because a lot, a lot of times, you know, you see snipers, they don't help the team at all. But Grizz is a sniper that always cares about helping the team, always wants to try and win the match, which is why I believe every sniper should be. So, you know, half the snipers you run to them all for three days, cast kind of there and, you know, 360 off cranes and die 40 times, and you just don't care whether or not they win or lose. Grizz is the exception to that. So, what do you guys think, you know, sniping versus playing the objective? Call of Duty, do you have fun sniping? Do you have fun playing the objective? Let me know. But right on your screen right now, you're going to be seeing uh, links to two videos I posted yesterday. Usually I post one video a day, but I posted two videos yesterday just because both these maps came out. So walk through the new Call of Duty maps, Foundation on the left, Sanctuary on the right. All you gotta do is click the screen, it'll take you right to that video. Kind of a walk through of each map, kind of showing you what's going on with Domination on them maps. And uh, how cool they are. I mean, they're, they're pretty cool maps, pretty cool maps. And then for whatever reason, for whatever reason you guys can't click the screen, there's also going to be links in the description to both videos. So you guys go ahead and remember to rate the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about sniping, having fun versus uh, trying to actually win the match, you know, doing well, objective play, things like that. And if you guys can remember to rate the video, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.